Hello everybody, welcome to this Reune review video. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Reune, and if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll also be leaving a discount link in the description of this video so that you can always get your money's worth for Reune. So Reune is a really great email validation service, and essentially what it does is it checks for any invalid, disabled, or unsafe email addresses that then make sure that you don't obviously receive any emails from unsafe email addresses or send them out to unsafe email addresses. So it's a really good way of making sure that whoever you're contacting or is contacting you are the people who actually are who they say they are and this is a website that can do exactly that for you in a really seamless manner so today i'm going to be taking you through everything you need to know about it and exactly how the website works so here we are on their website now you do not need to download any software for this it's all done via their online software um so on the overview page what we have is we have the option to enter a specific email address now we also have our activity so any verification activity that we've got in the past we have our lifetime user statistics so we can see how many we've actually detected that were safe catch all roll disposable inbox full disabled or invalid so it basically rates them on a color scale so that you know how approachable these different emails are so obviously if it's a deep red it will be invalid there's no point in even trying it's not someone's email if it's slightly more orangey then it's disabled and it goes all the way up through the colors all the way up to green which is classed as safe so basically you would put an email address in the top here so for example i'm going to put an email address in now for example if i wanted to put test at gmail.com i would verify now these are the sort of parameters for this particular thing so as you can see it did exist but it has been disabled so is it safe to send no is it valid? Yes. Is it disposable? No, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So anything that's green means it's good. Anything that's red means it's bad. So when I hit OK, basically this will add to the verification activity and this will be the email that we have tested. Now, this is really great because it means that one that if we go for one that is, you know, an actual email that exists we'll have a little look at that so for example this is the email that i use to create the account and this is completely safe this is a great email in order to send stuff to everything is green everything's perfect everything has been filled out so that's essentially how the verification function works on this software it allows you to see specifically which emails are good and which emails are bad before you send them so that is basically it it's very very self-explanatory but now we're going to move on to the next stage which is the email verification and what you're able to do here is verify numerous email addresses in one click so if you wanted to upload a csv file or a large amount without having to individually do every single one of them this is a page where you can do it you can enter the name of the task and you're obviously enter uh, able to enter all the email addresses as it says one per line so you would want to do it so that you had one two three or if you do have a txt csv you can basically upload all of these into here and hit start verification it will read those files and give you the exact same amount but it will have numerous instead of just doing one at a time so a great feature to have under bulk verification tasks and results what you can do is have a look at all of your previous scans and an uh, analyzes of different emails so this one for example you have the id you can see when this exact one was started the actual name of the task the status the total amount of emails that there were in this particular verification task the progress of this task and if you want to do any actions you're able to do that as well so this is basically where you can view all of your past list of entries if you have any of them and it's really really great to know because if you do have any and you you want to go back to one to see if it's maybe been activated or something like that or whether you want to see one that you previously was good to send to is no longer able or good to be sent to this is also where you would do that so a great feature to have and you're able to manage it on the go without having to only do you know it once and then not be able to look back on it this is exactly where you would find previous instances so that you can work with that with an API, you are obviously able to do it automatically. It says use API to verify these programmatically. So if you did want to, you are able to do that. Now, this is if you did want to integrate this API with anything that you've got. You don't have to do this, but it is very simple. You get your API key and you integrate that into whatever you want it to be integrated into. It gives you a few information here. I won't go through this because it's very self-explanatory. And if you know how to insert an API, this will tell you everything that you need to know in order to do that but it's great to know that this is a feature that you can do and i really really like that 
You then also have the My Profile button. So this is where you can edit all of the information about your account. You have your first and last name, your phone number allocated and your email address, and then your location and your current password. You are obviously able to set a profile photo if you do want to, that is an option that you have. However, we don't need to get into that at the moment, um, but that is something that you can do. And then finally, we have an FAQ. So if you do have any questions about the software, this is where a few things might come up without having to ask further. This is basically, it gives you a few questions Questions and a few answers that people would typically, you know, want to know information about. Um, and this is where it all is. You can find it in here. Um, but as you can see, every single page that you have, you have that really nice overarching ability to enter an email address at any point from any tab. And I think that's actually quite a thoughtful implementation because having to navigate a software all the way back to the right page over time can become pretty strenuous. So being able to just tap at any time at the top, if you've suddenly thought of an email address, you're able to do that. And I think that's a really great implementation, very thoughtful as well. Uh, but yeah, there is an FAQ if you do want to use that. Um, but now let's go back to overview and have a little look at what this has done. So as you can see, we've got the total of three and that has existed. Now it's labeled one as safe, it's labeled one as disabled, and it's also labeled one as invalid. And then it gives us a nice sort of pie chart distribution uh, visualized into a nice area so that we can see exactly um, how many in proportion of the emails that we put in are. So if you did do a bulk email, this is a really great way of seeing how a CSV file is, uh, whether they all are or how, whether the majority of them are, you know, good or whether the majority of them are bad. And it's a really great way just to visualize that in a slightly better, you know, aspect. But now it really begs the question of why might somebody want to use a software like this? And say, for example, you were given a large amount of emails, say, uh, you know, a company of contact email addresses that you wanted to go through, but they weren't sure whether they were good, whether they were bad. The people might have quit. You might want to contact them maybe a year or so down the line, um, but you want to know if certain people have maybe left the company, been promoted, got a new email address. This is all stuff that you can check with this you know, with this website. So you would put in something like that, you would have all of the emails, you know, filtered through, and then it will give you a really great idea of who is still active, who isn't, what the actual situation with their email is, because for some reason, they might even have their full inbox, meaning the email is absolutely fine, your mail just won't go through. So it's great to know the exact reason behind this so that you can actually do more than just not send an email or send an email. You have a numerous amount and a plethora of different options that you can actually go through. And I think that's a really, really good thing. But that is about it for Reun. So now it begs the question, do I recommend this and why? And overall, the answer is yes. I would definitely recommend this. I think that it's very easy and it's got its idea and it's nailed that idea. It has every single feature that you could possibly need in order to filter through emails. It makes its purpose very known. It doesn't try to be something that it isn't. And overall, it's a really simple version that even you know, the most amateur person when it comes to email or business can understand. It's a really great thing for that. I also like the way that they let you visualize the actual disparity between how many emails are good and how many emails are bad. They don't need many tabs, they don't need many features, but to do exactly what it does, they've basically got every useful feature that they could possibly have implemented and they've implemented them all really well. So I would definitely recommend this to anybody who needs to filter through emails and understand whether an email is able to be sent an email to or not able to be sent a message to either. But thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.